Good morning. This is Friday. Happy Friday. This is Dr. McDaniel. Uh, still finishing up on the topic of condylomena. So for the last couple of days, I've been speaking about condylomena, also known as genital warts, and they're a sexual infection that's caused by skin-to-skin -skin contact or body fluid-to-skin contact with any type of friction to inoculate the skin tissues with the virus that's the source of the genital wart infection. That's the human papilloma virus. And I spoke about how there are over 180 strains and counting of HPV, but the low risk strains, which have been identified as 11 strains, are the source of HPV infection that causes condylomata or genital warts. <coughs> Additionally, uh, I spoke about how the fact that condylomata uh, are a manifestation or a symptom of the HPV infection when the immune system is compromised or suppressed. So the best way to prevent warts or to treat them initially is to support the immune system, to strengthen the immune system with supplements. The most I should say the most common or the, the best uh, supplement, in my opinion, is L-lysine. Lysine is an amino acid and taken as 500 milligrams in the morning and 500 milligrams in the evening. It works really, really well to suppress the viral activity and to allow the warts to go away. And I always recommend to patients who see me to take that supplement for four to six weeks and then return so I can see what improvement they've had. And women who are very diligent with doing that, they have a, a, a really, really good improvement, shocking, uh, at least a 50% decrease uh, or disappearance in the growths. And for some women, they're all gone. <clears throat> That being said, uh, some people don't want to take the supplements or they don't want to take the time for them to go away. They want them gone immediately. And that's because the virus is infectious and contagious and can be spread uh, when someone doesn't have growth at a variable time rate. But if you have genital warts, it's actively shedding, it's actively spreading, and they're highly contagious when the warts are present. So some women want a treatment that works straight away. We don't have one specific treatment that works straight away, but the options for a speedy uh, treatment or uh, removal of the warts is to either remove them, that's called an excisional biopsy, where we clean the area, anesthetize it or numb it up, have a scalpel, and we just remove the growths. I usually remove, uh, if there are a lot of growths, I won't remove all of them because it's a large area. Uh, to have denuded and to be raw, but I'll remove the largest ones because that decreases the viral activity. And when you decrease the viral activity, you decrease the basically the, the energy source that's driving other condylomata to grow. So oftentimes <clears throat> the remaining ones will go away on their own. Uh, so you can remove them, partial or all. You can uh, destroy them with acid, it's called BCA or TCA, that's bichloroacetic acid or trichloroacetic acid. Uh, in that circumstance, the surrounding skin is protected with Vaseline or petroleum jelly, and the acid is dripped on with the Q-tip, is the usual uh, way. That usually requires a couple of treatments, so the person will usually come back in a week to see which ones are remaining and acidify those two. Another option is to freeze them off. The freezing is called cryoablation and it's a tank of nitrous oxide. I have that in my office. We apply contact medium, clean the surrounding skin, apply contact medium, and the, free, and the probe is placed on the growths to literally form an ice ball on the growths. It's an exfoliation process. So you're basically, you freeze the lesions, they, in that freezing them, they die, the blood supply is cut off, so they die. And then again, the person comes back in a week to see if all of the growths are gone. That's always called a double freeze, so we freeze each area two times. Occasionally, I'll freeze an area three times if it's a large growth. Um, those are the primary 
treatment modalities. They're all procedures. The last treatment is a topical medication that's applied. It's called Aldara. And the Aldara, uh, the catch with that is the person is really supposed to undergo a biopsy to sample the largest or the worst looking growth to confirm that it really is a benign genital wart. It doesn't have any precancerous or cancerous changes in it. Uh, if that is confirmed, then the person can apply the topical cream, the Aldara, to the remaining areas. Now the catch with that cream is it's nice because what it does is it garners your immune system to the area where the cream is applied. So it basically allows your body to fight the condylomata. Catches, it will also do the same if it's applied in nor on normal skin. So the person is supposed to apply Vaseline to the surrounding areas of the growths, apply the Aldara cream with a Q-tip directly, visually uh, using a mirror or something visually to apply it directly to the growth, not to any surrounding skin. If it's applied to surrounding skin, it can cause uh, redness, irritation, ulcerations, and uh, sores on normal skin. So they're to apply the Aldara, that's three times a week. So say Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, it doesn't matter. Three times a week to the, so to the growths before they go to bed, wash it off in the morning. Uh, they're not supposed to apply a lot, so it's not supposed to be uh, piled on. Uh, if there's any contact with, say, it's on an inner thigh, they close their legs afterwards, and now some of that treatment or cream that they apply to the growth leaches over to the normal skin on the other thigh it can do the same thing cause uh, ulcerations so they're not supposed to apply it like a lotion or to apply a lot it's supposed to be dabbed on and then rubbed in to so that it disappears to the growth that's three times a week before they go to bed wash it off in the morning and it's not supposed to be applied more than 14 weeks straight if someone has a growth or lesion that doesn't go away in 14 weeks of using the Aldara cream, they're supposed to have that growth removed because it's possible that it has precancerous changes um, and it's not just a benign condylomata, so it's precancerous or very early cancer is another possibility because HPV is responsible for not just cervical cancer but vaginal and vulvar cancer. So let's see, those are the treatments and the options that we can provide uh, in lieu of or in addition to um, the natural remedies with just supporting the immune system, taking the lysine diligently and coming back in four to six weeks to see if that's worked. So I hope that's been helpful. That's been a um, presentation on condylomata for the last three days, also known as genital warts or venereal warts. <laughs> this is Dr. McDaniel. Have a great rest of the day and see you tomorrow, Saturday. Thank you.